Rob Stanko has amassed a large collection of 18 classic cars. He told us he developed a passion for the vintage vehicles at an early age. We lived on the farm east of town here, and uh, I remember going down Machinery Row and jumping in an old Model T that my dad had, and uh, there was an apple box there behind the steering wheel. And I remember playing with that and coming home and my hands were just black from the steering wheel. And that probably got me involved in with a little bit of an interest in cars. According to Stanko, there are two cars in his collection that he would consider his favorite. When I turned 65, I treated myself to a birthday present, uh, 1970 uh, uh, Cuda, four-speed uh, 440 six-barrel, all numbers matching car and... Uh, it's even got electric windows in it. Uh, muscle cars weren't known to have electric windows, but it's, uh, it's my pride and joy. But I've also got a, a, a couple of hot rods. Uh, I've got a 32 Ford just behind me here, and it's a, sort of a neat car to drive. It's a different feel to the car when you drive it, and uh, it makes you feel like you're in, in that show American Graffiti, and you're, you're going to go meet the guys. I have a weakness for the muscle cars, but the cars that are 80, 90 years old should be preserved too. Uh, in museums, you know, the original ones, just to show where we've come from. Stanko says even though he collects classic cars, he's not much of a handyman when it comes to working on them. I'm not good at mechanics, so don't give me a wrench. <laughs> for Bridge City News, I'm Micah Quinn.